right, guys. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to get around to this, but I figured today we'd uh, go ahead and get to how you uh, mod Fable Anniversary. Thought I'd swap out a model, and I'd show you how to swap a player model if you were trying to do something such as play of Jack of Blades. And then anything we really do in this tutorial will apply to pretty much anything else you try to do in scopes of uh, modding Fable Anniversary, on the cosmetic side of things anyways. So, without further ado, I uh, suppose sorry for the wait, and let's get right into it. So, uh, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you where the heroes, where the uh, hero is uh, hiding from us. Down here in this window, you want to search for we hero, we hero, right here. And this package, you may see some extra files in here I have that you don't have. That's because I use this to house some uh, other mods, but don't worry about that. Just go ahead and right click that and hit fully load. And now we got our whole heroes package and ready to go. Now we're going to look for a weapon and we're going to inject a new weapon. So we're going to search We Katana. We Katana Brass. Right click, fully load. Here we are. So, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to right click our model and we're going to hit create a copy. We're going to copy the name of the model and we're going to tag it original. We are now going to import our custom model. For this, I decided to use the Daichi. So let's see here. The Daichi. Okay to all. Okay. Okay. Something you may have not noticed that I, of what I uh, did there is that when I click uh, import, if you're working with a model that's multiple pieces, you need to make sure you combine mesh, uh, combine meshes. So here we go. We got the Daichi in here, and as you can see, its textures are in here. Only got one. Let's see if I can import the uh, specular. There's its specular, and now let's see if I can import its normal. There we go, there's its normal. And now let's apply those to that, so we're going to open its uh, material here. And there you can see the Daichi, let's go ahead and save its thumbnail. I guess I'm not really certain why there's three of these. It's a little bit strange, so let's just go ahead and uh, drag our speculars in here and our normal. And we'll channel normal to normal and specular to specular. And we'll save that. And now we're going to do that again. Our specular, our normal, save them. Usually you only have one material, I don't know why this weapon created three. So our specular, and our normal. Alright, now when we look back at our Daichi, you see it's got at least a little bit more going on. I'm pretty sure it's bump map is still missing, but uh, we at least get some shine out of it. So now we're going to create, right click on this and create a copy. And 
we're going to now paste the name that we had for this that we copied before we tagged it with the original. Okay to all? Yes, replace. And now the brass katana is replaced with this custom mesh. And now we are going to replace the hero with Jack of Blades. So we, let's go to We Hero. As you can see, I already have a backup of his original. So let's just go ahead and copy his name. And now let's go to Jack of Blades. Now, a lot of the other heroes, like Thunder, Briar Rose, they're actually tagged first with We Rival. As you can see, there's Briar Rose, Scythe, Thunder. So, uh... Let's see. I guess Jack of Blades is not tagged with Rival. Okay, so here we go. Here's Jack. It's Wee Jack of Blades 01. And you right click on his mesh. Create a copy. And now, up here in package, you'd open this. And you can only do this after you've loaded this, of course. And uh, select We Hero. And now you change the name to the name of your hero. And then you'd hit OK to all. And then it's then it's done. OK to all. Yes and yes. And it's done. I'm not going to do this uh, for several modding purposes that I'm working on right now. I guess maybe I could just at least show you. And then just not save. So there you go. You see Jack of Blades is in there. And now you've replaced the hero's mesh with Jack of Blades. Now you can play as Jack of Blades from the start of the game. Um, you're going to want to shave your head, though, and not wear any cloth, uh, clothing. And one final step to this is you're going to want to search for a package called Hero. And you're going to want to fully load this. And you want to go to Static Meshes. Right here, Mesh Hero I. You're going to want to right-click on that, create copy, and then just tag that with original, or you could always just right-click on it and even forcibly delete it, and that'll fix the uh, hero's eyes for you. If you wanted to have invisible armor sets, so you could still get Jack of Blades, like, so you could still put armor on Jack of Blades without messing up the mesh, and getting some stats, you would go to a package called Wii Game Main. And this is where all of the armor in the game is stored. And you can uh, delete these or rename these, or even mod these any of the ways that I've uh, shown you thus far. Like, you can replace them the same way. Uh, right here, I'll show you a helmet, for example, that I replaced. And of course, you know, it... Let me see here. View. Skeleton. See? Yeah. It's fully it's fully rigged like uh, any other headpiece would be, and we'll move the animations. Or you could alternatively delete them to get invisible armor stats for Jack of Blades, like I mentioned. Uh, you're going to want to shave your head, though, or you'll get a lot of mesh tear. Uh, you can do this with anything. You can replace things with... Uh, themselves even are textures in here yeah so you can edit textures also even by if you open them up a texture 2d file and if it looks like this just hit compression no alpha and it'll get rid of that and you can edit it with these settings down here under uh, source file stamp and just make sure you uncheck this when you're done but I'll show you an example like changing the hue like let's go 700 
yeah, see, it's you can do all kinds of things in here. Play around with the values. That'll be it for now, though. Just wanted to make sure I could uh, hook you guys up with that so you know what you're doing, at least on the uh, basics of swapping a weapon or a player model. This mostly applies to anything else you'd be doing, like, let's say, with particle effects, like... Let me type particle systems here. You can see all of the particle effects. Uh, I know they have copies in Wii Game Main that you would have to uh, change. You remember Wii Game Main. And let me see if I can find for you where the other ones would be. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, it's been a little while since I messed with the uh, particles anyways. So I'd probably have to take another video to show you that. But it is just as simple as anything that we've done here. You just swap it, change its name. Uh, maybe I can change one of these colors real quick for you. So if I go into here, let's see. You can mess with particles from in here in their settings. I know that one of these will allow you to manipulate the color in some way or another, and another one will allow you to absolutely uh, inter-swap the material as well. I've edited this before to get things like uh, red lightning. And that'll be that. Hope this was useful to you. I am not going to save any of these. I'm only going to save this one, because this is the only one I need, but you would save uh, we Hero at the very least. You wouldn't need to save We Jack of Blades. You just need to save We Hero, and there should also be the Hero folder there for you changing the eyes. And only We Game Main if you attempted to change any armors. So that'll be all. Let's save that. If you save We Game Main, you should know that it's going to take about 15 minutes, and you can't really touch anything, or it will absolutely break because that that file is organized for cooking. So save. There we go. Sometimes a little freeze up like this is normal. We just gotta relax. Just waiting it out, having a little cross lag, probably because I tried to close and save while I was recording. Like I said, the software is very unstable, can't handle things like that. Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. And that'll be it.